Hello everyone, this is Luis Rodriguez from 3 Digital Cooks. This week's video I will be answering some questions from two awesome 3D footprinting entrepreneurs that I met at Mess Effort in Germany. Thank you, Cristina and Barbara. They wanted to know more about how to start printing with chocolate. We're going to be covering mainly three topics. Chocolate, hardware that you need to print with it, and also people and places to learn more about it. Beep. Jason named Chocolate as the drama queen of 3D food printing mainly because it caught the attention of everyone because it's a food that everybody loves but at the same time it's not the easiest one to start with. Before even you start looking at what type of machine to buy or use, I think it's important to know what type of chocolate you're going to be printing with. There is tons of different types of chocolates with different melting temperatures, viscosities or even setting temperatures. Also it's important to make the distinction if you're going to be using compound chocolates or chocolates that has cocoa butter. If you're using the second one you will need to deal with tempering and also blooming issues. Once you have a more clear understanding of what type of chocolate you want to print this is going to help you to choose your technology. I'm not saying that the same technology cannot be used for both because it can but actually knowing what you're going to print is going to help you a lot to understand better what is the setup that you need and how to prepare it. Another important point before you choose your technology is to know what actually you want to print. Do you want to print at home for you, for your family? Or you are actually thinking about creating a new catering line with customized chocolate. Parameters like accuracy, speed or the robustness of your printer are going to have a major impact in, in the decisions and the budget and the time that you're going to need to pick and, and get your hardware ready to print chocolate. Be clear about what you want to do and choose the materials that you want. This is going to help you a lot to pick the right hardware for your chocolate treats. I wouldn't say that the hardware required to print chocolate is rocket science. Although it's important to know what are your limitations. Depending on your budget, for example, you will have access to a completely different set of tools. And that is an important thing to keep in mind. Another trade-off normally is the time. Depending on the amount of time that you have and also like your willingness to learn more about the technology, this is going to help you to be able to cut the budget or obviously the more you know about the technology, the easier it's going to be for you to tweak whatever you're using in order to suit your needs. Thankfully, there is already out of the shelf available 3D food printers or 3D chocolate printers that you can actually buy and try by yourself. An important thing that I want you to understand is that you, if you know what type of chocolate and what you want it for, this is going to help you to be able to make the right questions to the printer supplier to make sure that they're going to give you the right customer support that you need and to actually cover all your printing needs. You can get a 3D chocolate printer between $3,500 to $600 depending what you buy and where you buy. Uh, obviously each one of them has strengths and weaknesses. Obviously the range will give you different type of uh, technology and at the same time customer support and, and things like that. So before you buy anything make sure to contact with the supplier. Be sure that they can cover your needs. People like the Chuck Creator, the Vocusini, the Rocket, 3 Drag. Make sure to check all the links in the description below because I'm going to add a lot of resources for you to keep discovering and learning more about those. There is a second route that is like you build your own. Again, if you are, if you have the willingness to, to learn about the technology, we always encourage people to mess with hardware and to learn by themselves because that's the best way to get cover your needs. But at the same time, it's harder if you don't have the time or the willingness to learn, to learn about it. Learning more. It's good to know that you are not the only one that has thought about printing chocolate before. So there is a lot of people that has been trying this, has been sharing their, their experience, maybe not in enough detail to make it super easy for you. But if you do some uh, research, you will be able to learn a lot from their mistakes and, and see what they have been trying and what works and what's not. Make sure to check the interview with Mark Jones from Chalk Edge. I think that's a great starting point. He gives a really nice tips on how to start printing with chocolate. The work from the Smart Astronomy Lab Belgium. They have been doing really cool pretty chocolate prints too. Obviously Fans Hodge, Hershey's. Just make sure to check all the links in the description below. Visit the 3 Digital Cooks map on 3 digitalcookscom and you will have tons of resources to probably get lost but definitely answer some questions. I hope these quick tips help you to answer some of your doubts about printing chocolate. Thanks a lot Barbara and Christina for your questions and don't hesitate to write comments below for any doubt that you might have. Happy to, happy to answer them. Remember to share, subscribe and thumbs up if you like the video and uh, 
until next week for more 3D footprinting adventures. What? Okay. So this video is about chocolate, right? So what I'm going to be doing is eating some chocolate. <laughs> Unboxing! <laughs> Oh, what? What? This chocolate is like cookies and cream from Hershey's. It's definitely super healthy, as you can see. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, I deserve it, right? What is this? Really hard to open with just one hand. I'm mainly just destroying this. <laughs> oh, I can see it. I can see it. Yes. Yes. Flip around. Chocolate time. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, what? Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Ah, bueno, chocolate. Not the healthiest, not the most healthy appetizer, but I mean, I'm doing this just to encourage you to start printing with chocolate, okay? Mmm. Oh, yeah, this is good, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Make sure to subscribe. If you've subscribed to this channel and you meet me, you have the right to ask me for a free chocolate, okay? Oh. Chocolate moment. Mm. Should I eat the whole thing? I love it!